15.7 million seconds of my weekly art practice. Six months, 26 weeks, it's week 26. SLART July 5, 2024 support cream of the crop and help me rise to the top. Put your email below and it will go pop. Subscribed author's note, every Saturday, I share my art practice over the past seven days. I'm fascinated by artistic practice, it's not just about creating art but the entire process. From influences and ideas to materials and skills, each artist's unique approach shapes their work, making it more than just a finished piece. Just imagine having a weekly update from your favorite living artist. How cool would that be? I'm not saying I'm your favorite living artist, but if Jean Dubuffet had a weekly blog, I'd read it. Or if Carla Knight had a substack, I'd pay to read it. If this piece is too long for email, you can read it here in Substack. Or download the app. It's been a fairly low-key week in my art world, my daughter has had a funny tummy, feeling better now, and my main, besides her, has been to focus has been on getting my website ready. Thriving Artist Business School True to Form, there was a big pitch at the end of the webinar and the price was just shy of pound 2000. I know it's worth more than this, but many artists don't have this kind of money just to spend on a course. Once I learn this stuff, as I said last week, I will support people by donating. I bought Amanda's ebook for £27, it's got the high-level overview right there. For your eyes only, I've asked my mate chat GPT to give a summary of the ebook. Brief summary of How to Build a Highly Profitable Art Business by Amanda Heath Introduction Amanda Heath shares her experience and lessons to help artists achieve their goals through authenticity, passion, and integrity. 1. Get clear on your vision, define your ideal artist life, set sales targets, and focus on specific work types. 2. How to stand out, identify your unique artistic passions and drivers to ensure cohesive art and messaging. 3. How to plan, choose multiple income streams, balance time intensive and passive streams, and build a value ladder with consistent pricing. 4. How to shine, ensure your brand visually represents your values and invest in high quality photography. 5. How to connect, utilize Instagram effectively, build an email list with a lead magnet, and develop a professional website. 6. How to engage, identify your ideal customer avatar, eka, and use emotive language to align with their desires and struggles. 7. How to sell, create a comprehensive marketing plan with engaging email sequences and social media content, highlighting the emotional benefits of your art. Systems to scale, implement systems to automate marketing, sales, and customer engagement, using software and templates for streamlined operations. Additional resources provides further support through the Passion into Profit program, offering guides, templates, expert sessions, and a supportive community. This guide helps artists streamline processes, enhance marketing strategies, and increase sales and income. The new SLART website I said last week that I would have my site finished by now, but the more I look into it, I don't want it to be rushed. I'm adding all of my previous artwork which will be sold as museum quality prints, t-shirts and perhaps other merchandise. The e-commerce part is the biggest part of the site, everything else will be copied over from my existing website, which won't take very long at all. Maybe four hours of focus time. ADHD? I've always wondered if I have a DHD. I don't feel particularly hyperactive though, but I have struggled with focusing my attention for the most part. When I do focus, I really focus and I get loads done, I just need a bit of nudging. You've probably heard the quote, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, this appears true to me. For example, when I am vacuuming, I don't vacuum across the floor in a logical order, I get bored with a patch of carpet and I move somewhere else, but I get the carpet vacuumed fully. In the kitchen, I might be cooking, cleaning and putting things away, and it's in a weird order. But the food is served hot, the dishes are washed and previous dishes are put away. It's just not in logical order. When I paint, I don't paint orderly, I might start one painting and then move to the next, but I always finish my paintings. When I work in my day job, I don't mind having a todo list to remember what I'm working on, but I don't usually do things in order. But I still get stuff done. Who can relate? Exhibition at the Crypt Gallery If you've been reading my weekly art practice posts, you'll notice that I have lots of ideas, but I almost always take some action on them, 
They might not happen in order, but the ones that I'd like to happen usually do. I've been thinking about an exhibition at the Crypt Gallery in London. It's the perfect venue for a memento mori theme. Once I've finished my website I will put some ideas together on a nuanced theme that I can share with my curator. Watch this space. Instagram and TikTok I did schedule some posts earlier this week but then I just decided to delete the apps and not post for a bit. What I have found is that it's enjoyable for me to create video content, but it's also distracting me from getting my website ready. Yes, I could create content and schedule for a week at a time, and maybe I will do that, but for now, I'm enjoying not using these apps. I also deleted the Substack app as I use it in the same manner as TikTok and Instagram. Those habits are still there despite the format of the app. Thank you for joining me in my art practice for this week. Best wishes, SLART don't be shy. Meet me in the comments and let's discuss. Q1. What features do you think make an artist's website stand out? Q2. What are your thoughts on investing in high-priced courses like the Thriving Artist Business School? What would you need to know before committing? Q3. Have you found any particular routines or habits that help you maintain a productive workflow as an artist with a DHD? Q4. What do you think makes an artist's brand really stand out? Enjoy my publication? Please forward this to a friend. It only takes 3.5 seconds. Making this one took 3.5 hours.